Coming up next, a matchup for the UFC Women's Bantamweight Division title. Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. Well, this belt has changed hands quite a bit, but not since it's been held now by this young woman, the reigning defending, undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World. She has really set the standard for excellence at 135 pounds. Tonight, though, facing a number one contender that comes in with a lot of momentum. So if she can defend the belt yet again here tonight, it would really go a long way in stamping her legacy as one of the greatest Bantamweight fighters and champions of all time. All right, now let's get you the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Two years apart, these two fighters with similar height and reach. And now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a professional record of 22 wins, three losses. She stands five feet five inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Ishkek, Kyrgyzstan, presenting the challenger, Valentina Bullet Shevchenko. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 10 wins, three losses. She stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Distrito Federal, Brazil. Presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Vivian Vivi Araujo! All right, this is for the UFC championship. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, my fight. You ready? You ready? All right, here we go. UFC Women's Panamweight title is on the line. Opens up with a front kick. Just misses with the punch by Valentina Shevchenko. Yep. Wow. Oh, huge move the body. That'll soften her up. More clinching. Very nice leg kick there by 
Shevchenko. Ooh, big shot land. Nice leg kick land. So both girls landed right out of the shoot. Shevchenko gets in the clinch here early in the fight. No surprise here. Oh, found the target there with a straight right counter. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! Oh! Back there, this could be the end. She landed a massive uppercut. That hurt her opponent very, very badly. That knee might have landed there. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Shevchenko. Big knee lands there. All right, so now she engages in the tie clinch, and of course, if you're fighting hands as the opponent, you leave everything else wide open. You leave everything open as you will dig big, brutal knees to the body. Oh, look at that combination. I got two words for you, champ. Head trauma. Head trauma, which can be fought by head movement. <laughs> Young lady, move your head. Move your head. You want your parents to recognize you might have to fight is done. There's no give on that leg kick. Big kick lands. Oh, oh. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish the fight. Knee to the body. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Well, she whiffs on the straight right hand. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Shevchenko gets the takedown. Right into full guard here, DC. Where does she go from here? She needs to be passing. Right away passing. Trying to pass to get good ground and pound off. All right, full guard now, DC. And just because she has the top position does not mean she is not in imminent danger. Oh, she's in danger at all moments whenever she's in the full guard because they have so many different submission attempts that they can throw up at you. So she needs to pass. By passing the half guard, already eliminates a vast majority of those submissions. Move to half guard, then continue to try to advance to either get off great ground and pound or just positional advantages in the grapples. Well, she's up, but she looks hurt. Shevchenko's lower jaw now started to show signs of swelling. It's just out of range with the big right hand. Nice straight punch. Oh, man, I hate to laugh, but she lands another kick there, and now you're really starting to see that visible damage on the other side. When you start seeing the redness in the leg, that means that every time she is driving that baseball bat, right into the thigh where she wants it to land. And now her opponent is limping. Her opponent's wounded. Her opponent's injured. And now watch the target be way more stationary. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. some of the action from that previous round. DC Chief among it. The big knockdown courtesy of that punch. A big knockdown off of that punch. She was flowing, letting everything go. And then she sat down on that strike that put her opponent down. It looked like the fight was over, but we do go forward.
She's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. And she did not miss there. This could be the end. I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she's standing. Stuffs the takedown shot. All right, so she finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort earlier on, but cleaned up the technique a little bit, and now we'll see what she can do. She cleaned it up. She really did take her time back. She took a step back. She evaluated what's my best course of action. Figured it out, got it done. Now, how does she handle being on top with dominant top position? Nice right hand. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Wow, there is just a viciousness with which she operates here on the ground as she continues to get the ground and pound game going. She might get a finish here. She's looking for a finish. She's so good at dictating these ground stages a fantastic job of building posture to try to land that kill shot from the top. Man, she is just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another looks like she's trying to set up a submission now. Oh! Oh, we're getting a finish here. This might just be a matter of time. And there it is! Oh my goodness! Yeah, no doubt about it, that is some opportunistic grappling right there. And nice finishing instincts as well. You see a lot of fighters get the dominant position but aren't necessarily able to lock up the choke or force the tap. No problem with her as she gets one of the bigger wins of her UFC career. All right, so that's the end of the round. A lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. Game. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out. Queen retains her title here tonight and a huge effort to get the job done. The belts are piling up at home. She did everything she intended to do in this fight. She knew where she held the advantages and she stayed in her lane to retain her title. I wonder if she would trade her new belt to you for one of the old ones. She won a lot of the 